What's going on everyone? I hope you are well and you've had a lovely, lovely weekend and you're having an amazing, amazing day. Today I want to talk to you, I want to share something which is, I'm being quite open and, and vulnerable here. Uh, it's, it's morning and um, I've had a great morning. We had a really good night's sleep. I woke up this morning, we got the kids ready, the kids left. I went next door into the ceremony room and I did my prayer, my meditation, and I connected. And I always share gratitude. <clears throat> and then I come in and get myself ready, make sure everything is okay. But I want to share something really important. Today, when I was just cooking some breakfast, I started feeling quite lonely. And I wanted to share that because there was nothing that changed, nothing bad that happened, but I just felt lonely I felt on my own the house is really quiet the kids aren't playing the TV's not on and I had a really lovely weekend with with the children and you know there was loads of there was parties and then we went out and there was loads of things that we did I had a nice date night with my eldest daughter which was really cool we got to go to the cinema which is something which is always really lovely I got to see my son as well although it was for for a little while because he's been so busy working so I think with all of this excitement, all of a sudden I just, I was just, you know, cooking breakfast and tidying up the kitchen and I started to feel quite lonely. And I thought, I wonder why I'm feeling lonely. Why am I feeling lonely? And I just asked a question and just observed what had happened. And feeling lonely is very normal. You know, it's something that can happen all the time. Like I said, I had a lovely weekend. There was no reason for me to feel like that. But when I connected with it, the answer that came to me is, I just love having my family, my friends, the people that I love around, and I miss them. I miss them. The kids, where they've, they've gone off to nursery and, and school and, you know, in college and work, and, and I'm here. <laughs> I'm here on my own now talking to you. And I wanted to share that because it made me feel sad. It made me feel sad for a little while, but when I connected with the truth of it, I understood that the reason I was feeling lonely is because I love my family so much, you know, and I love having that energy around. They uplift me all the time. And sometimes it can be quite stressful with a 10 month old and a four year old. And, you know, they're very energetic and sometimes they can get, you know, a little bit, a little bit, a um, little bit annoyed and they can get, you know, angry because they can't communicate and how they want to. Maybe angry is not is not the right word, but um you know, so I think for, for any parents, you know, you can relate. Sometimes it's nice to kind of just chill out. And this is my time where I just got to be on my own. And and I felt that loneliness. Now, look, on a serious note, loneliness is a huge thing. You know, I felt very lonely, you know, before, you know, many years ago. And sometimes I still do like today. But loneliness is something that can really trigger us into going inwards and inwards in a very negative way because it can trigger fear, it can trigger anxiety, it can trigger depression, and it can really take us in a place where we can start and begin to isolate. Now, isolation is something that can actually be very dangerous because, you know, we shut out the world. You know, we think that we're on our own with this and nobody understands us. And this is a really painful and sometimes very dark place to be in. And it, it can almost feel like you're going down this hole and you're never going to come out of it. So one of the things that I always look to when I'm feeling lonely is to understand why. Why am I feeling lonely? What's going on for me that's making me feel this way? And when I understood, like today, I just missed my children. I had a lovely weekend and I was able to kind of snap myself out and to then come and, and do this video and share this with you. Now... On a deeper level, loneliness, when you're struggling with mental health, it's, a, it, it, it's, it's different because it can stay there and it can really um, torment us. It can really cause a lot of pain and suffering and, as I said, everything else that then comes with it. Now, here's a solution for me that works really, really well is to connect with that. Understand in the moment, right now, not anything that's happened in the past or not projecting anything that we may not have in the future. What's going on right now? What do I have in my life that can help me to feel whole again, 
for the moment? What actions can I then take that can then take me out of this place of loneliness? So for me, I always look at gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful, powerful tool because it just allows me to see all of these things. And if you heard me speaking just now about just missing my family, having a lovely weekend, these are things to be grateful for. So as you can see my body language, straight away I'm smiling. Why? Because it lifted me. So if you are feeling lonely, try to connect back with that. What do you have in your life? Your friends, your family, people that care and love about you. And we all do. We all do. Even in the loneliest times that I remember suffering and not wanting to be him. A lot of you may know my story and I've been always very open about it. You know what I've been through and you know some of the, the decisions that I made and thankfully I'm, I'm still here to, to be able to share this. But it took me to some very dark places and one of the things that I've learned through practice is to connect back with gratitude. And I'm in amazing groups as well. And I always connect with these groups and connect with individuals. And it was one person in particular who just really made me smile. And this person's energy just uplifted me. And, and I then got thinking and wanted to then make this video. If you are feeling lonely, if you're struggling, if you're suffering, look at the things that you have in your life because loneliness takes us away from that and brings us into a place, that place of isolation. And the thinking, the mind goes into a negative place and starts to think and eventually we believe that we have nothing. Nobody's there for us. Nobody cares. It's just me. I'm on my own. And that's far from the truth. And even if it's reaching out to me, to, as a message, you know, whatever it may be, reach out to someone. If you haven't spoken to someone and you miss that person, reach out to them. Even if you just say hello, or even if you're just asking how they're doing and just share what's been going on. It's, it's so important for us to communicate how we're feeling, what's going on for us, because that allows us to get away from from what we're creating, so the, the illusion that we're creating, which eventually can become a reality, like I said, everything begins in the mind and the thinking. So nothing is real, but eventually if we think about it enough, 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 we bring us into a place that actually we've made that into a reality. So keep your reality where you want it to be. If you want to get yourself out of that, bring yourself into gratitude. Gratitude is something that will instantly take you away from that loneliness, from that place of feeling sad. If you're grieving, of course, that's very different. When I've been grieving, one of the things that has helped me was to think about the things that that person brought into my life. What value did that person add to my life? And it may make me cry, and sometimes it does, and the person that always pops into my head is my grandmother. She was like a mother to me, and she always makes me smile, even though I miss her so much all the time. She always makes me smile because of the value, because of how she was and her energy and her presence. So there is always a solution around these things, especially around loneliness. I hope that this helps you today. Have an amazing day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, be great, be fantastic and be absolutely phenomenal today. It is everything, everything, everything that you are. I say it because it's true. And if you are feeling lonely, reach out. Reach out to those people that really, truly care and love you. Have an amazing day. Take care.